Hello everyone, let us answer this question guys. This is question 6 from a revision booklet consisting of questions from previous question paper. Um, a chemical reaction is represented by the following diagram. This is the diagram that is representing a chemical reaction and they have indicated to us that we are having a reaction between magnesium and oxygen to form a magnesium oxide as a product. Now write down the name of the product for this particular reaction. Remember on the left hand side we have what we call the reactants then on the right hand side we then have the product. Now the product in our particular reaction is magnesium oxide. All right, one mark for that. Then 6.2, describe in which way the atoms in this reaction, describe in which way the atoms in this reaction are the same before and after the reaction. So you need to describe in which way the atoms for the particular um, uh, chemical reaction given how are they the same before and after the reaction? So what we are basically seeing here, guys, is that the same amount of atoms that you have before the reaction or the number of atoms that you have before the reaction is the same as the number of atoms that you have after the reaction. Okay, so if we were to look for magnesium, for example, you are having how many atoms? 3, 6, 9, 12. In the, um, the reactant side for the chemical reaction, at the end of the reaction, you're still having 12. 3, 6, 9, 12. Yes, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Same with oxygen. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. We are then having the same amount of atoms before and after the reaction. 6.3, describe in which way the atoms in this reaction differ. Now, the previous question was asking us how they are the same. This question is asking us how they differ before and after the reaction. Now, in this particular one, guys, you can talk about the atoms being bonded, right? So before the reaction, all the magnesium atoms were bonded with each other. So all of these atoms were bonded with each other and the oxygen ones were bonded also, right, with each other. Now, after the reaction, we are then having the magnesium atoms having bonded with the oxygen atoms. So here... Just magnesium bonded with each other, oxygen bonded with each other. But in our products, we are finding both the magnesium atoms and oxygen atoms bonded together. That's how they differ. Okay, so before the reaction, we have magnesium and um, oxygen atoms bonded uh, with each other. Okay, let me write it nicely, guys, so that I don't confuse you. I can see that I'm going to probably run out of space, but let's see. So before the reaction, before the reaction, all the magnesium, all the magnesium atoms were bonded with each other the bonded with each other and all the oxygen atoms were bonded with each other then after the reaction mm, I'm going to create space here after the reaction after the reaction the magnesium atoms have bonded with um the oxygen atoms there you go last question in which phase does the product occur 
give a reason for your answer visible in the diagram, visible in the diagram, in which phase it will be solid and the reasons the particles are close together. Particles in close contact. Contact is attracted to each other.